Residents of Ukraine still feeling the impact of the ongoing tension and war with Russia, but efforts from the U.S. are making sure children are being well cared for. Now, one of the most recent retreats just wrapped up, and she just landed with us last night. Susan Matheson with Common Man for Ukraine back on the show. Thanks for coming back. What was this most recent trip about? Well, as your viewers remember, we have been providing food, about 20,000 pounds a week, or 800 tons so far, to the kids in hiding in safe houses in western Ukraine. But as we worked with them, we realized that they're suffering from so much trauma. So we began an expanded trauma counseling program mm -hmm. for children who have lost at least one parent in the war. So where did you go this time, and what did you see, and how did it compare from your last trip? So we gather kids from all over Ukraine, 30 kids at a time who have lost at least one parent, bring them to Lviv, get their paperwork in order across the border and into the Tatra Mountains in Poland. Mm -hmm. While they're there, we give them group and individual trauma counseling. We get them out in the wilderness to play and swim and, and be relaxed in nature. And for three weeks, they hear no air raid sirens, no bombing, and they create, create really tight friendships with other children who've had the same loss. How do these kids seem, just in your experience with them? Well, it's a continuum. When we first meet them, they're sullen and stiff and afraid. They know that Russians are kidnapping kids in Ukraine, so when they're getting in a bus without their parents, of course, there's some trepidation. Mm. Then, as they meet other children and reach out to them and talk about their similar experiences and losses, you can just watch. In our art therapy groups, you can see a painting that a child does that's totally black and dark. Suddenly, as the weeks go by, we see him coming out of his shell mm. and talking and making new friends. Obviously, so much needs to be done. What do you think still needs to be done? What, what is sort of the, the, the near future for this? Well, we're going to continue our food programs. We also have to think winter's coming again. We'll be back 10,000 sleeping bags last winter. Who wow. knows this year? And the trauma counseling has to expand. We need a, to service a lot more kids. Hundreds of thousands of kids are suffering from this trauma. We're also going to expand our programs to help with counseling for the moms who also are also suffering from that same trauma. I think when this it, the Russian invasion first happened, there was so much movement and kind of people wanted to help. And now there's almost this fatigue with hearing about it. So. You've got enough funding for three more months of yes. this program. What can people do to help and kind of get re-engaged on this and helping the people who are there? Absolutely. We would so much appreciate any donation, large or small. We're an all-volunteer program. We use Rotary volunteers in Poland and Ukraine, so every dollar goes to the ground. S small donation, large donation, just reach out and help us out. Well, the work you're doing is so good. Just, just a mom from New Hampshire trying to help. I mean, it's just, it's really unbelievable, the impact. Susan Matheson from uh, Common Man for Ukraine, thank you for coming in again. You just landed last night. Yes, I, I did. You're probably very tired. So go to our website, uh, of course, if you want to help. We will link you to them if you want to uh, help them out. But Thanks, Kate. Thanks, thank you. Thank you, Susan.